Hey, Ben Pierce of the Rosa Tracker. In many of my recent videos, I've talked about terraforming Mars. And many of you guys had the same question. Will Mars even keep an atmosphere? It doesn't have magnetic field, so will it even be able to keep it? I wanted to know what the math was. I had heard that it would be able to keep it for at least a thousand years, and so I wanted to do some digging in to figure out what the real truth was. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, we know that Mars had a atmosphere at some point in time. There are many, many geological features on Mars that can only really exist if there was some amount of water on the surface, of liquid water. And of course, it can't do that today. As we've talked about previously, it would have to be a much, much warmer planet to be able to support that. So the question is, is what happened with the Martian atmosphere? Well, there are a number of different culprits, and basically they come down to three different things. The first one is called the genes effect, and this is one that I've kind of hinted to before. The genes effect is where the really light molecules in an atmosphere will tend to leave it because they have a velocity that's higher than the escape velocity, and so they'll tend to leave it over time. That's why we don't have very much hydrogen in the atmosphere of Earth, because Earth can't hold on to it. Now, it turns out that Mars can hold on to most of the same gases that we can, except for Earth can do a better job with water and with methane than Mars can. But for carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, they're equally as well. The second ones, they come down to a couple of different effects, but they basically have to do with radiation. I won't go into all of the, the details. There are a number of different papers on this, but there's a couple of different processes whereby radiation can cause it to go away. I won't go into all of the details here because it's really, really technical. It took me a while to get down to the bottom, but there's basically two processes whereby the radiation can affect it. The first one's called sputtering, and that's basically where you have a high energy radiation particle, hits another particle, bounces it away, all of the studies show that that's not going to be a significant contributor to the total loss because it just won't be over the entire lifetime of Mars since its creation. It's estimated this would take it to about one-tenth of the atmosphere of Earth over the course of billions of years, so that's really nothing to worry about. The second one is called photorecombinance, which is a really complex one. But it comes down to two different types of radiation that interact. The first one is, is you have some sort of a charged particle that will tend to ionize it. And then eventually the ultraviolet radiation will break apart the molecule into smaller pieces that will eventually disappear. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's the gist of the idea. And this is expected to be the major contributor. Now, if Mars had a magnetic field, it would be able to hold on to more of its atmosphere, but not a huge amount. The third effect is some kind of environmental change. This would be freezing the atmosphere in the North Pole or having the atmosphere be trapped underneath the surface or something along the lines of that. We don't really expect any of that to be a huge issue on Mars, but it's worthy of some consideration. Bottom line is, is can Mars really hold on to an atmosphere without the magnetic field that Earth has? And the answer is, yes, it can. Now, how can I say this so confidently? Well, we happen to have two other planets that have a significant atmosphere that don't have a magnetic field. And I use the word planet loosely. One of those is the planet Venus which has a very, very thick atmosphere, has no magnetic field, although it does have some effective magnetic fields to some extent, but it's not a planetary magnetic field like Earth's. And it would not be able to hold on to the radiation, but Venus has an atmosphere that is way, way thicker than Earth's. So it's obvious that it would be able to hold on to it for a long time. The other one is Titan, which is a moon of Saturn. Now, Saturn does have a little bit of a magnetic field, but Titan does not, and Titan will not always be protected. The radiation's a lot less out there, so it's not going to be as affected. But still, Titan has an atmosphere that is considerably thicker than Earth's. B 
between those two objects, we can pretty confidently say that you would be able to hold on to an atmosphere for some period of time. Papers have done some research into this, and the general thought is, is that Mars held on to its atmosphere for at least a half billion years, and that the atmosphere was probably in the same realm that we were talking about before, of one bar, basically Earth's atmospheric pressure, on the surface of Mars of pure carbon dioxide. We know that it could hold on to it for a half billion years, so that's such a long period of time, it's really not worth worrying about that much, especially if we're going to populate it through asteroids like we were talking about previously is the best way to do this. A half billion years is plenty of time. There are a lot more issues to this, and we could go on, but the bottom line is, is we should be okay as far as keeping the atmosphere of Mars alive for an extended period of time. Thank you guys very much for your questions and comments, and Thank you for thinking about these things in more detail. It's great that you guys are keeping me honest. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. Thank you to my Discord members who are helping me to troubleshoot things and to my Patreon members who are helping me to do all kinds of things. You often get access to the videos early by being a Patreon and you always are able to help support me. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care, guys.